Hans Theodor Waldsenstorm, September 14, 1817, July 4, 1888, commonly known as Theodor Storm, was a German writer. He is considered to be one of the most important figures of German realism. Storm Bust by Adolf Brutt, Husum Schlosspark Theodor Storm, drawing by Ingo Kuhl 1980 Storm was born in the small town of Husum, on the west coast of Schleswig, then a formerly independent duchy ruled by the King of Denmark. His parents were the lawyer Johann Casimir Storm and Lucy Storm, nay Woldson. Storm attended school in Husum and Lübeck and studied law in Kiel and Berlin. While still a law student in Kiel he published a first volume of verse together with the brothers Tycho and Theodor Momsen. Storm was involved in the 1848 revolutions and sympathized with the liberal goals of a united Germany under a constitutional monarchy in which every class could participate in the political process. From 1843 until his admission was revoked by Danish authorities in 1852, he worked as a lawyer in his hometown of Husum. In 1853 Storm moved to Potsdam, moving on to Heiligenstadt in Thuringia in 1856. He returned to Husum in 1865 after Schleswig had come under Prussian rule and became a district magistrate. In 1880 Storm moved to Haiti-Martian, where he spent the last years of his life writing, and died of cancer at the age of 70. Storm was married twice, first to Constanza Esmark, who died in 1864, and then to Dorothea Jensen. Storm was one of the most important authors of 19th-century German literary realism. He wrote a number of stories, poems and novellas. His two best-known works are the novella Zimmense and Der Schimmelreiter, first published in April 1888 in the Deutsche Rundschau. Other published works include a volume of his poems, the novella Pol Poppenspaler and the novella Aquas Submersus. Like Friedrich Hebel, Theodore Storm was a child of the North Sea Plain, but, whilst in Hebel's verse there is hardly any direct reference to his native landscape, Storm again and again revisits the chaste beauty of its expansive mudflats. Menacing sea and barren pastures, and whilst Hebel could find a home away from his native heath Storm clung to it with what may be called a jealous love. In Der Schimmelreiter, the last of his fifty novellas and widely considered Storm's culminating masterpiece, the setting of the rural North German coast is central to evoking its unnerving superstitious atmosphere, and sets the stage for the battleground of man versus nature, the dikes and the sea. His favorite poets were Joseph von Eichendorf and Edward Murica, and the influence of the former is plainly discernible even in Storm's later verse. During a summer visit to Baden-Baden in 1864, where he had been invited by his friend, the author and painter Ludwig Peach, he made the acquaintance of the great Russian writer Ivan Turgenev. They exchanged letters and sent each other copies of their works over a number of years. Hungarian literary critic Georg Lukács, in soul and form, appraised Storm as the last representative of the great German bourgeois literary tradition, poised between Jeremiah Scott Helf and Thomas Mann. A poem about his hometown Husum, the grey town by the grey sea. House of Theodore Storm in Haiti Martian analysis and original text of the poem from A Book of German Lyrics, ed. Friedrich Bruns, which is available in Project Gutenberg. Thanks for watching.